It's Spa Manicure Day here at Free Range Diva, and my nails and hands are in desperate need of some TLC. So if you want to see how I go from this to this, just keep watching. I start by trimming and shaping my nails. Although I've had long nails in the past, I prefer to keep them short as it's just more practical for me. These cute little emery boards were sent to me by a company called FileWise Nail Files. They were developed by a cosmetologist to be ergonomically correct and work with the natural motion of the hand. They come in a variety of grits, styles, and colors and work with natural or artificial nails. They make filing really easy and quick and are a pleasure to use because they're so comfortable in the hand. So if you'd like to read more about these or pick up a set, I'll provide all the info in the description bar below. I'm placing a bath soak from Red Flower and some Epsom salts for magnesium in a bowl and adding some very warm water. I mixed some salt, sunflower oil, and lemon juice for a DIY hand scrub. I'm using it to remove dead skin, especially around the cuticle and nail bed. Once that's done, it's into the water for a long, soothing soak. Scrub with some super fatted olive oil soap. More soaking to absorb that calming magnesium. As water evaporates, the skin and nails lose hydration and dry out, so I'm using some pure aloe gel to add an extra layer of hydration that won't evaporate. I have nail ridges, and they are likely caused by dehydration, so every night for the last couple of weeks, I've massaged some jojoba oil into the nail bed. Naked, I haven't been wearing any polish lately and I've also been consistently supplementing with fish oil to help strengthen the nails and hydrate the nail bed from within. The final step is to lock in all that hydration by massaging in a rich moisturizer. I'm using this one from Tierra Mia. Ready for polish. I'm using a base and top coat from Mineral Fusion and the bright summery pink color is from Pacifica, a formula that is seven free. That is free of the seven worst common chemicals used in nail polish. All done. I hope you enjoyed my at-home spa manicure and will take the time to pamper yourselves a little bit and save a little money too. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and found it helpful, and subscribe so you won't miss my next one. Have a wonderful, relaxing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.